Ellen and Steve Kester have been married for more than four years. They met 14 years ago while studying Spanish in Mexico. Early in their relationship, they talked about having a family, but decided they would wait until the time seemed right. When we got married, we knew we weren't ready to have children then. We were both pursuing our educations and, and careers, and so, and we keep a very busy pace. We didn't make a conscious decision to have children later in life. We just made a conscious decision to live our lives, to do things we wanted to do, such as our education. We traveled together before we really got serious about thinking about a family. Ellen and Steve thought that starting a family while in their 30s would be okay. Pregnancy is something that has to happen when a couple's ready for it. And so there are no blanket recommendations. We can't say you should get pregnant before you're 35 or before you're 38. But what couples really do need to understand is they need to understand the information. Infertility is the inability to conceive or carry a pregnancy despite 12 months of unprotected intercourse. So we know that 88% of couples in the United States who attempt pregnancy for 12 months will conceive and will be able to deliver. The remaining 12% or about 6 to 6.2 maybe million couples in the United States have problems conceiving. And they're defined as subfertile or infertile. Approximately 40% of infertility problems are due to the female and 40% to the male. The remaining 20% is a combination of problems in both sexes or the cause is unknown altogether. So it's a 50-50 proposition. One needs to have normal sperm, one needs to have normal eggs, and one needs to have normal fertilization. After a year of trying on their own, Ellen and Steve received a diagnosis of unexplained infertility. They tried several treatments with no success. After a lengthy and emotional roller coaster ride, they sought a fertility specialist and opted for in vitro fertilization, IVF. It was a decision that would change their lives forever. Hello, Catherine. Catherine arrived two weeks early rushed off to the hospital and two hours later we had a little girl in our hands. It's great. Being a dad is the most wonderful thing in the world. A few years later, Ellen and Steve decided to try another IVF cycle at the age of 36. They're preparing for yet another surprise. We went in last week for a sonogram and we learned that we're having a boy and a girl. I don't think Catherine really knows what's coming yet. Uh, she's the center of our universe and she's um, been accustomed to being the queen of the household. So there'll be a little bit of an adjustment, no doubt, when the, when the twins come. How fertile any one couple may be is a complicated equation with genetics, physiology, lifestyle, environment, and age all playing a role. And though doctors examine all male and female fertility issues, unfortunately not all couples will be able to conceive despite the best medical science has to offer. Still, experienced fertility counseling may be a couple's best chance for success.